Hi, and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Multivac MTV and to see exactly what's been going on with the price action of this token. Guys, as we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really appreciate that. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will not miss another video. Right, and um, let's get into what's going on here with the price action of MTV most recently. Um, in the last 24 hours, we have seen MTV actually surge 12% to the upside and um, so we're going to get into the smaller time frames to see exactly what is going on there uh, we're going to start things off with this weekly chart which is multivac paired with usdt and we are using kucoin as the data source now the first thing we need to acknowledge is we are now overbought quite nicely here on this stochastic rsi um, at 100 right so the fast lines reach the maximum level uh, on here so a pullback is something that we're going to see kind of happen here in the very near future now the pullback doesn't have to be significant in terms of price but it just needs enough to lose that momentum out of what is going on on the stochastic and it doesn't have to be a steep one we can just come out a little bit and then go right back up again okay as we continue the surge to the upside here with mtv now, um, in terms of where we found resistance last week, we found resistance up there at the 618. This is the first barrier that we've been trying to battle our way through. And the rejection was kind of obvious considering how things were looking on the hourly. Now, with that surge to the upside, it does put us in a really nice strong position. So if we are, a are able to hold a support line here, we could be taking out the 702 and the 786 really shortly. This comes in at 1.5 cent. And basically getting that closed candle above 1.5 cent then puts us on the map for taking out the all-time high of the one. 0.859 okay um, and again that basically then sends us on the path of price discovery so some pretty good stuff is going to be taken out uh, or move along nicely there now um other than that, we are talking about 600% gains to get us up to about 9.2 cent. Uh, and the 9.2 cent uh, is, yeah, 674% in gains is still left to come for uh, Multivac. Now, obviously, this is a micro cap coin in the same way that Silo is. Um, and that ultimately, it won't take a lot of money to move the needle. So we've actually seen a pretty good price spike so far um, with this particular coin. And uh, we should start to see some pretty good price discovery on the horizon. Like I said, not a lot of money will move the needle that these Fibonacci 4.236 might just completely get wiped out as it surges much further beyond this. So again, using the Fibonacci retracement tool gives us interesting targets, but we cannot use them as uh, you know, something that is concrete unless uh, we're much further along the bull run. Considering where we are right now and looking at price discovery here um, for this project, and the amount of stuff that's actually going on i do think this thing is going to actually go, keep going much much faster than anticipated and i think we're going to blast right through some of these fibonacci and um, the 4.236 areas um my personal price ex expectations will probably be up towards the 30 cent area i don't see it going much higher than that um but again that would be significant gains for many who are accumulating at these low low prices um so things are looking pretty good on this weekly chart let's actually jump down into our daily and here we can see the rejections that we've been getting, okay? Um, so like I said, right, we had our uh, accumulation zone. We then had started to see this area here, uh, which is the area that we want to see the closed candle above, right? And um, what we're looking for in this scenario is basically now to, to get above this 618 area just here, right? So the 618 area here, 702 is here and then the 786, right? Um, so we actually wicked in past the 618 and got rejected from the 702 and then rejected from the 618 with the closed bodies, right? But we have found good support. So this previous area of resistance across these candles here has now turned into a support line. This comes in at 1.1 cent, okay? So right now the market's looking pretty interesting on this daily chart because uh, we've got a dojo here as in the market is undecided on which direction to take this. Um, and basically it's found support with the previous resistance the resistance was hard and heavy and um, so basically finding this as a support line is key um, but again um, we could start to actually see this really spike up if we throw the volume on here you can see the volume really came in nicely kind of came back a little bit came up yesterday and it is decreasing today right so if the volume stays nice and low that'll protect us right here for today and then we might start to really come into here into our own trying to get above that 786 so the daily chart is looking pretty good obviously the stochastic is at the midway point plenty of room to grow to the upside here and we had the pullback from the middle this is actually what we talk about on the weekly right we see these overbought areas small pullback coming in 
just correcting us down and then we continue the growth to the upside. We don't have to go all the way to the oversold area, although sometimes it's better to do so because it gives us more room to grow later. Um, but right now, everything is looking pretty good on the stochastic. It's looking pretty good from the candle point of view. It's looking good from a support and resistance pine. And right now we're just looking to try to get everything geared up to take out this yellow box area just here. And um, so when we actually jump down into our um, hourly view this is where we get the, the more clarity right because we can see exactly how things have been forming we can see the resistance that has been forming across this area here you can see it quite heavily um, and again you saw this surge that we had yesterday taking us above the 618 getting rejected from our 702, trying to find this as an area of support, couldn't, and then testing down the lower bound of 1.1. Okay, we can see that we were overbought when we surged up to the upside with that 12%. And then again, we can see the, the correction on this hourly, on this stochastic RSI coming down to 54. So it's actually a pretty good level, but again, I think we're going to continue to trade sideways here uh, until we are a little bit more lower on our stochastic. Now we throw those volumes back on, um, and what we'll do is we'll just lift this up a little bit. Uh, so we can see what that looks like. So we can see the volumes have basically started to decrease here um, all the way down there. Now that's a good sign to, for sideways trading whilst we correct this. Um, so if the volumes stay low, we we'll continue to be bouncing in here before we absolutely surge back to the upside that we did previously, right? So this sideways trading that you saw over here is something that we're looking for over here that will then allow us to get this closed candle above the 786, okay? And so now we're just needing to correct things out a little bit before we do surge back to the upside, okay? So uh, everything on this is looking very, very good, both from uh, the daily perspective and of course from our hourly perspective, loads of things to look forward to here for Multivac in the short term as well as the long term. Um, so the other thing that's probably worth just taking the, the volumes there is taking a look at uh, you know those moving averages. How are these forming? Well, the 200 moving average here on the hourly is working for us as a nice support line. We flip this back up into our um, daily. You can see that we're well above our moving average there. Now, if we throw the 50 on, uh, again, we can see the, the very bullish cross there. So that's looking very good as well. Um, so yeah, everything's looking pretty good from that perspective on this daily chart. And we take off our, um, our moving averages, throw on the Bollinger Bands, and again, we're looking at pushing up still, so that's looking pretty tight there as well. So uh, these bands are now looking to kind of get closed up a little bit. So uh, as we saw previously, we need to start to see this gap get closed, um, but we are trading nicely above the midway band as well. So pushing a little bit harder, but uh, but working well nonetheless. Um, so overall, everything here for Multivac is actually pairing up quite nicely. The price expectations are, are set uh, according to the 9.2 area. Um, which actually comes in from all-time high of 2.1 um, down to the low here of 0 0.0000359. Uh, okay, so uh, once we get past um, this high of, uh, of 2021 uh, and we push up to the first price target, that will take out the actual all-time high for silo uh, for, for multivac here. So everything's looking pretty good um, on this particular project. And uh, yeah, we're just waiting now for the next kind of step to be taken, a little bit more of a correction, a bit more of a sideways trade. And then we should start to see the next steps, which hopefully will take out that 786 and get us into you know pushing further forward and talking about the first price target of 2.8 cent, uh, which would be fantastic for, for MTV here. So guys, um, that's a hopefully that you have found this brief update on multivac useful and informative. If you have hit the like button, I really do appreciate that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here and um, with that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one